Okay, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is uh, Saturday, September 14th of 2019. Uh, yesterday, Hillary, my daughter, took me to uh, my doctor, my heart doctor's yearly visit that I go for where they check the pacemaker and get data off of it or whatever. And uh, so she took me and yesterday was uh, Friday the 13th and the room they put me in was room number 13. But um, The um, results, <clears throat> uh, my bet, well, everything checked out okay. They did an EKG also. Um, my battery has another probably 14 months to go before they need to replace the battery in my pacemaker. Um, So that was good news. After we left the cardiologist's office, uh, Hillary drove me out to, even in, over into Oklahoma, and we went to uh, Borders Casino, and uh, we gambled a little bit. Hillary won about $500, and uh, I didn't win a penny. Uh, actually, I wasn't out anything. Hillary gave me about a, a little bit over $100 to gamble on, so she actually didn't win 500 She ended up, you know, winning 400 I wish that as we left... Oh, wait, let me show you some pictures, though. Let's see. Where are they? Okay, here they are. Let me go full screen with this. This is Hillary at her Tender Wolf game that she loves to play. That's, uh, that's the machine she won on, by the way. Here is another. Here she has, uh, you can see, $195 uh, winnings at this point on the machine. And then here is a, another picture of Hillary at the machine. I think this is a pretty good picture of her. Uh, I may use that for the, uh, I think I will, for the thumbnail maybe for this video. Uh, what I wish I had done as we pulled out, so it's in Oklahoma, and I'm not sure if that would be Indian Reservation land or not, but, and I don't know what the law is in Oklahoma, but there was a, a woman or a girl or a young lady or down, down by the highway there holding up a big sign with a marijuana logo on it and a pointing over, and over on the hill over there was a trailer and it said medical marijuana on it. And, well, maybe if somebody... Uh, I have never smoked a marijuana cigarette in my life. I've never done any illegal drugs in my life. If, if we had driven over to the trailer, would there be a doctor there who could write a prescription for my arthritis or whatever, and could I have purchased a marijuana product? Maybe somebody who lives in Oklahoma and who you know knows, or somebody who goes to the casino or whatever. I was surprised. Like I said, we live in uh, Texas, but uh, I wish I'd have got a picture of the girl holding the sign. I wish I'd got a 
picture of the trailer up there and actually uh, since I had lost money and uh, I just kind of wanted to get home but I actually wish we'd have gone over and I'd made a little video if they would have you know allowed it and ask a few questions and I could have posted that um, By the way, um, what else did I want to tell you about the medical thing? Okay. Yeah, back to the going to the doctor. Uh, I have, for I don't know how long, I've, I'm totally exhausted all the time. I can barely stand up. Um, we live in a small apartment complex. If you watch the uh, drone video, you'll have an idea of the size of it. Um, just walking over to the office area to where the mailboxes are, I uh, it's a struggle to get back home. I have to be careful when I step off a curb that I don't fall. Uh, I've been this way for several years. I've been blaming it on one of the many medications that I take. Uh, I'm taking a couple prostate medications. I'm taking two or three uh, heart medications. Um, taking metaphorin for uh, type 2 di diabetes. And um, anyway, I talked to the heart doctor about it, and I said, I think it's one of the medications. No, no, not. And I said, I think it's the metaphor and the type 2 diabetes medicine. He said, no, and he said, in fact, let me, and then he told me, he says, some studies have been done, and he told me, you know, they took people who had type 2 diabetes and to, who took metaphorin. They had people who did not, uh, who had type 2 diabetes that didn't take a, I guess, a diabetic medication. Then they had people who were not, uh, who didn't have diabetes. And they found that not only did, you know, metaphorin help the diabetes problem, but people who, in that, you know, they had, I don't know how they do it, you know, cross samples or what do you call it, blind, whatever. People who took it, took metaphorin, whether they had diabetes or didn't have diabetes or whether they had, you know, the metaphorin, those people had less cancer. And, and it was, so anyway, he says, you definitely need to be taking metaphorin. He says, it's not your medication. He says, you just need to exercise. And I said, well, it's so hard. I said, I'm just walking outside. I just about fall down. I don't need to fall down and break a, you know, break a leg. He said, uh, I said, I would, I've been thinking about purchasing a bicycle, stationary bicycle and doing that. I could, you know, put it in front of the TV and when I watch the news every day, do it, or when I watch some certain show every day or every week or whatever, that would be the time I'd just sit there and ride the bike. And I said, if I fall off, I'll fall off on the floor in my own bedroom, you know. He said, no, he says, uh, you're just not going to, he says, people that get those, they just don't, you know, they don't do it. He says, what you need is to get with your doctor, you know, the, my general doctor, not the heart doctor. <laughs> and, uh, Maybe the doctor could schedule you for going three, two or three times a week to a place that you, you know, that you exercise, I guess, something, something like physical therapy, but something different. And I thought, no, uh, uh, you know, I don't have a car. If I had a car, it would be expensive, but I don't have a car, so I'd have to take, uh, well, of course, Hillary would take me, but. I'd have to take, uh, she has to work on the phone, you know. When she's not working on the phone, she's not making any money. 
And so I'm thinking, uh, then I would have to take Uber or Lyft. You know, that would just be a, you know. So, and, and then he, of course, I'm thinking that, and then he's saying, or you could sign up for a health club. And if you paid the membership fee, you know, then you'd want to go. And I thought, no, that wouldn't work with me. I signed up for at least one health club one time that was located in a hospital right where I worked. And uh, I, did, I never used it. I paid for it and never used it. Uh, I didn't tell him that, though. And then he said, or or you could have a, uh, a, what do they call them, a trainer, you know? I forget what he called it. You know, one of these pe people who have money and have somebody come to their place and uh, whatever. And I thought, I was thinking, uh, do I look like somebody who can have a trainer. So, of course, uh, friends and family are saying, just get your lazy ass out and go walk around the apartment complex. Walk around the apartment complex. I'm still thinking that I should get an exercise bicycle. Bicycle. Um... So, um, I think that's the medical, medical thing. I still want to get, let me go to, let me go to Amazon and go to wish list. By the way, I want to, uh, I want to get, let's see which one I can, okay, I think it's this one, or this one. See, I'm using the Brio camera, Logitech Brio camera, and it's 3.0, and it does 4K, and uh, whatever, the USB, and the cable that came with it was pretty short. I don't know where it is now, but I think it was a 3.0 Type-C cable. Uh, I don't know where it is right now. But, so I think what I need to do is either get the top device, which is, how long is that? 15 feet. Uh, or get this cable down here that... Uh, is 10 feet type and I think that will work for my uh, because right now the Brio is not plugged into uh, or it may be plugged into a 3.0 USB jack but the cable is not a 3.0 you know cable so uh, By the way, I want to get this when I can afford it. This is the Logitech G Pro X gaming headset, blue, uh, with voice technology. And uh, the keyboard I'm using is a uh, Logitech G910. The mouse that I'm using is a Logitech Damn, it's a pain in the ass to get old. Uh, G502 Hero. And I have two Logitech cameras. And this, so the software is, you know, for this, uh, let's see. The software for this is... I think I clicked on it. Let's see. Uh, let's see. Where is the software? Let's see. I clicked on the software. Where? Maybe that's not the software. NVIDIA settings. Microsoft. Okay, that's not. Where is the software for... 
Microsoft Outlook. That's Sound Blaster. Okay, I don't see the software, Logitech software. Huh. I was going to show you the software. So, anyway, it would be with this uh, gaming headset, Lofi, uh, Logitech, I'd have all my software right in one place. I'd just go down there and... Uh, but, so here's the headset. Uh, these are videos, I think. I don't know. Maybe one of these will show. No. Anyway, you have all kinds of... It's, I guess there's a small... I guess there's a little sound card. A, a sound card uh, built into the thing that works with the software. Um, so I would be able to change the audio go to like they have they have a, and they have a whole list of like am radio fm radio whatever It'd be all kinds of settings that i could go to so i want to go to this when i have 130 dollars um what else is on the wish list by the way I think I'll order these Thai fisherman pants. I don't think I'll like them. They come in one size apparently because you wrap the thing. I, but anyway, I thought at eleven dollars, I thought I'd give it a try. Um, I'm not sure I'll buy this, but I used to collect 1943 Lincoln. I thought they were zinc pennies. It says steel pennies. I thought they were zinc. I had a ton of them, and I gave them away to one of my kids, and I think they probably put them in gumball machines or something. You know. Not that I thought, but it was, I just thought they were neat. 19, in 1943, because of uh, World War II, they needed uh, copper, and so they made, during that year, uh, they made, this says steel pennies, but anyway, I wouldn't mind having a, I've never owned an, I did, well, I got a Apple iPod when they came out because I was working at CompUSA and our store was like number one or two in sales. And every one of the employees there got a free iPod. I gave it to my grandson. I've never owned an Apple product, but I would like to have an Apple iPad and the mouse because I've seen some YouTube videos. I saw one YouTube video. I watched a couple of guys' video, and he and now he'd be a doctor, but he was in medical school, and he showed how he used it. I'm not sure I would be that smart, but he used his iPad. Of course, he had the instead of the $400 one. He I don't think they had a 400. You know, he had the $800 one, but the the same. But he used you know when he was in class, medical school, and they would project slides. He would catch it with his iPad. When they put something on a whiteboard or blackboard, he would catch it with his iPad, uh, import this stuff, edit it, save it. Uh, I mean, just do everything. So it sounds fantastic. I had a uh, Chromebook, and I just did not like it. But, you know, they've upgraded now. At the one I had, you couldn't, well, I gave it away to one of my kids. Uh, but... Um, Oh, uh, I didn't like it. I don't like laptops, really. But that one was not upgradable. I have a, I do have a Chrome box also, which I like. I hardly ever use it, but it's sitting over there if I ever need it. And the, um, but it's not upgradable either to do uh, the apps. Let's see. So it does. Google apps and it okay it'll do now with the you can do Android apps I believe it is that would be neat but I'm not sure but anyway I have it on my everything on this list doesn't mean that I want it I keep track of stuff um, uh, that I want to refer to or maybe do a review on or uh, something like that so 
Um, by the way, I'm trying to get Show Me Blog to go not here. I set it up to go here, but I'm trying to set it up now to go to uh, see WordPress. Let's see. Come on, where's WordPress? Okay, here. I'm trying to get it set up to go here. Okay. Okay, I've never, I haven't seen this before. Anyway, that's a problem that I will work on. Let's see, can I save image? Okay, where did it save it? I have no idea. Oh, okay. So go to desk, just slow. It's slow because I'm saving the, uh, so I want to make this uh, thumbnail for 0914-2019. Okay, save that to the desktop. This photo, this was taken by the way with uh, my cell phone. Um, well, let me do what I always do. Let's see what's on the CNN page before I let you go. There's a tropical storm, Humberto. Expected to be a hurricane after leaving the Bahamas. Solid gold toilet stolen from Brenham Palace. That sounds like maybe a German palace. Uh, oh, okay. Solid gold toilet stolen from uh, Brenham Palace, the birthplace of Winston Churchill. Wow. Look inside. That's that's uh, yuck. Ah. If you have a cold toilet, don't use it. But if you have, if you use it, have have it cleaned or something. How much is solid gold? Did they say solid gold? Okay, how much would that be worth? A toilet made entirely of 18 karat gold is stolen from the Blenheim Palace in Oxford, England, the stately home where former Prime Minister Winston Churchill was born. The fully functional toilet was installed as part of an exhibit by an Italian artist. Uh... It was reported stolen at 4.57 a.m. Solid gold, how heavy would that be? A 66-year-old man has been arrested. Um, okay, come on, I want to know how much it's worth. Did they give a weight on it? Let's see. Okay, somebody... you. Come up with it and post it in the uh, let's see. The toilet was first displayed at the Gutenheim in New York, it's a museum, in twenty sixteen. It made headlines again in twenty seventeen after US President Donald Trump Trump's White House emailed the Gutenberg asking to borrow Vincent Van Gogh's 1888 uh, painting, Landscape with Snow. 
Instead, the institution's curator offered the gold toilet. Okay, I want to know how much it's worth. I wonder how much it weighs. Okay, well, let's see. Oxfordshire, England. Okay. Uh, ham radio links. Radio garden. Okay, search. said in my preview, what's so disappointing is United have played some delightful football this season uh, without a, a, a great deal of reward and I think last Saturday at Fleetwood was probably almost for the first time that they've really been second best to us and I thought Fleetwood were better than United. Uh, <laughs> Probably at BBC Radio, we probably have to... The old 1-0 with Josh Ruffles scoring in the 95th minute. Pick that paper up tomorrow and it'll say option. Yeah, we'd probably have to listen on the hour. Maybe they have news on the half hour. I don't know. Yeah, somebody will probably help us out. How much is that gold toilet worth? And how much does it weigh? Or I guess just tell us how much it weighs and we will... Look up the math of what gold is selling for right now. Well, I think that's... Uh, see, what are my plans for today? Not going out and walking. Not riding a stationary bicycle. Oh, I... Uh, let's see. Well, I want to be able to see. No, I'll be able to see what you see. Okay. Just enlarge this. Okay. Let's see here. That's my... Whoops. Okay. Not showing up the way I wanted it to. Diabetes program. There we go. That's showing up good. Okay. Um, logbook. There we are. Blood sugar was 108 this morning, and it was 104 yesterday. That 204 sort of... Uh, I decided to stop. <laughs> That's where I went to see the doctor. I decided to... Not take the metaphorin insurance insurance uh, medication for a day, so I guess I need to be taking it. Well, I just mean let's slide this one up a little bit and show you down. Uh, see, my blood sugar is doing really really good. So, um. I think that's it. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you to do thumbs up or anything like that. Oh, yeah, there was something I wanted to. Okay. Uh, what? Let's see, where did I want to go? Um, YouTube. Okay, bookmarks, YouTube stuff, uh, go to YouTube, uh, 
go to go here. Did you watch the video? I think it was yesterday about um, uh, new to swimming. That's the third video I've made on the subject, by the way. But did you check out that video? Let's see. Okay. Um, what I wanted to show you was... Okay, they did fix it. That's pretty neat. Um, that's pretty neat. I... I uploaded that, what, uh, on the 12th, and I, I didn't check it till this morning, and they had turned off the ability to make uh, money with it uh, because of the content, and it had to be because of, of this, of the title, Nude Swimming, and because of, um, there was no nudity or anything. It just, I just mentioned that uh, in the past in the United States, back in the 50s and 60s, uh, because of uh, filtration problems in swimming pools, that males swam naked at school for swimming meets even. Another team came in to swim and the boys from that high school or whatever, I guess college, they swam and uh, there was an audience. I mean, you know, people in the bleachers ruling for the uh, things. And uh, uh, people in the United States don't, a lot of people in the United States positively do not believe that that's, uh, it was even the YMCA, the young Christian Men Association or whatever, their places, they had uh, places in town or whatever where there was a swimming pool and there were ping pong tables, I guess, and I never went, you know, that type of stuff. But uh, there's people who, you know, they just, you know, Americans, at least the United States people, uh, positively, uh, don't believe that that ever took place. They, it just seems inconceivable to them. They, their minds would explode. You know, they would think, oh my God, Satan has come down. Uh, there will be fortification, uh, raping, and all types of stuff going on. They just cannot accept the fact that, uh, I think there was a book done, and there, there, are, se there are several other uh now, I have a couple other YouTube videos where I mentioned that, but no pictures are shown. No, of course, I wouldn't say anything wrong with it if it was, but uh, people in the United States just, they refuse to accept it, no. And when I had my blog, it was, there was a grainy scan from a newspaper that somebody had that showed an event, or from a school newspaper or something that showed an event, and boys were in the water and uh, had the head. And then there was a guy who actually did like a well, he made a he made a, a YouTube video or two where he interviewed some people who were like a teacher, I believe, and he interviewed uh, some guys like my age or whatever who said, "Well, yeah, I went to such and such a school. We had a." It was nude swimming there until such and such a date, and somebody else went, and uh, there was, so it was, this was a blog post, not a, at that time, a video post. It was a blog post of mine, and there were people who left a whole bunch of, there was a whole bunch of people left comments saying, now, that never happened. It's a faked photo. It's a fake story. Never would that happen, in the, you know. I saw a YouTube video one time. I saw a YouTube video that in Germany, though they were talking about Germany, and it was, I think, one of those things, what's the difference between, you know, <clears throat> in Germany, the things we don't realize or whatever. And in Germany, all over Germany, uh, 
if wherever there's a park, a German is, or I guess a visitor too, you can go to the park and get naked and soak up the sun and nobody thinks anything about it. And then I remember, I was surprised about that. I remember a, uh, a video I saw on YouTube one time where they were talking about Spain and they said, uh, if you're at the beach, you can just change clothes. You know, you don't have to find, what do they call those places? A changing room or whatever. You can just change clothes. You know, get naked, you know, take your clothes off and dry yourself off with a towel or do whatever and be naked. Uh, actually, you can like walk around the beach and nobody thinks a thing about it. They said, just do not leave the beach area. I mean, I guess just, if somebody has a concession stand down on the beach, you could go over there, probably be, you know, you probably ought to put a towel around yourself or something, but you could go over there, but just don't leave the beach area and go one block over to uh, purchase a new swimsuit or buy something at a McDonald's, and then you'd be into trouble or something. But the United States is so messed up. I think it's our Puritan, the ones that came over here or whatever, blame the UK. Uh, they, they sent those, actually they didn't send them over there, but uh, must be the Puritans or whatever or something, I don't know. We are screwed up. But anything, okay, hands, um, Congratulations to because I just noticed and I thought oh come on, because they did that on my they did that on my other videos too and I had to click on a thing, and it took a few days I think for I think for the others to be corrected, and I thought I saw that they had turned off it looked like something like this you know. Uh, well no that one's one I did, uh, where, where I turned it you know some of the you can see I turned off a whole bunch of these. I think it was something like this. No, this one's I turned off because of I put an age restriction on that one for some reason. I forget why. But no, this was one that they their scan or something did and because of the word nude swimming and so I thought, Oh, should I just leave it alone? And I thought, No, I'm gonna click it. So this morning I clicked it and asked them to review it and bang, it they already turned it back on. They saw there was nothing wrong with it. So, guess that's what I wanted to say. So, a lot of times a lot of YouTube video uh, uh, producers or whatever, uh, you know, attack YouTube and I think we have some reasons to do it sometimes, but uh, here's a case where, okay, sure, their scanner saw nude swimming and rejected it. <laughs> But I clicked on a thing and very shortly they, uh, you know, they were talking about, I wonder, maybe that's what they, that, that if you had some uh, credence with them, if you had had some things reviewed before, if you had done some things that maybe they would, if you then said, hey, this is okay, they would take your word for it. But if they find out then that, hey, no, you know, they should have been banned, then, you know, then they take that credence away from you. Is credence the right word? They, but, so, I don't know. Anyway, congratulations to YouTube for doing the right thing and doing it uh, quickly. Um, by the way, if you wonder... Uh, here on you know if you go to my YouTube oh, want to welcome you to uh, go to my YouTube channel over here on the right side other people do it too I have uh, YouTube channels that I recommend the PBS News Hour uh, Twit uh, channel uh, Naomi the uh, sexual cyborg uh, First Ring Daily I forget what that is. Today I found out, top 10, 
A great big story. Okay, I forgot the view of the fifth column. Aquarium Co-op and NCH Software. So those are the ones I recommended. I would recommend more, but I think there's a limit to how many. I think this is about the limit. I, I think it's not set up to allow uh, more recommendations or whatever. I still haven't got an answer, but I'm guessing that you know here is home videos playlist community and I post things here but uh, well there's a thumbs up but I'm not sure there's another thumbs up another anyway I do wish people would go to by the way, that's another thing. <laughs> uh, please use my link for Amazon. You'll see it usually underneath my videos and other places. Because if you go there and buy something, I get a commission. And uh, I showed you the other, like the other day, that. Last month, I think I qualified for a $1.50 uh, commission from Amazon. And the month before, I qualified for a $1.70 or something and whatever. But if you go there and you purchase, especially if you're going to make a big purchase, but even small ones would add up. But I just know we don't think about, you know, going to someone's link or whatever we just think of type in amazon.com but to make it easy for you just type jimhoward.me j-i-m-h-o-w-a-r-d dot me and that takes you you know takes you to my storefront there but you don't have to click on any of these items you know and there's categories here of uh well, let's just take one. You don't have to even go, you know. Let's take recommendations. You don't have to click on any of these things and purchase it. But if you do, you know, I get a, uh, I get a commission. But just the fact that you, let me do that again. Jim, Howard dot me. Just the fact that you come here. Now, if you go and... Uh, uh, 4K. If you go, you know, and you go any place, as long as you ha don't haven't logged out, if you go here and you buy anything at all, I will get a uh, small commission, and it would help out. Uh, whatever it is, you know, that I get, I'm going to turn around and purchase something and review it for you, like the headset I'd like to get, or something else. By the way, I put my TV back in 1080p from 4K. 4K just so aggravating. Why do I have a 4K monitor? Because things just don't. Even though and I've gone through, I've read all the the sites about uh, so I just I'm back into 1080p, which is fine. With the 4K, the mouse uh, just sometimes it'd be someplace else, and I couldn't find it, and uh, whatever. So I'm back in 1080p. I only have one monitor though running. That's fine. Anyway, thank you very much for watching.